Today we're going to examine the relationship between integral defects and profile drag in detail. So we've hinted several times now that the far downstream momentum def defect P infinity governs the profile drag. Now we're going to show that the profile drag per unit span is exactly equal to the far downstream momentum defect. To start, consider the velocity field far away from an airfoil. For potential flow, we get that the velocity is approximately what we'll call the far field, FF velocity, which is V infinity plus the gradient of some far field potential. Now far away from the airfoil, this gradient term will have contributions from the circulation around the airfoil and from the source which models the airfoil's finite thickness. So this is the circulation contribution and this is the source contribution. And again, this is coming from the fact that in general, the airfoil has finite thickness. So when we did thin airfoil theory, this term wasn't present. For simplicity, let's choose the x-axis to be parallel to the free stream so that v infinity is v infinity x. Now to get a more accurate representation of the far field velocity, we need to add a term for the viscous wake. This is because the wake is full of uh, vorticity um, and therefore is rotational, while our V far field is a potential flow and is therefore irrotational. To do this, we're going to add uh, what we call the wake defect velocity, which is a negative quantity, delta U wake, which is U minus V infinity, U is the local X velocity, and this is always negative. This will give what we call the far field with wake velocity, which is the far field potential velocity plus delta U wake in the x direction. It's understood that we have this delta U is zero everywhere except in the wake region. So if we have an airfoil with some V infinity, Then, if we take the flow will come in at the stagnation point, and then the wake will come off here. The wake velocity has some negative distribution just here in the airfoil's wake region. Just going to add a few more things to this figure. So the circulation is lambda. There's a source, or sorry, circulation is gamma. There's a source lambda. There's some net force, which is just the sum of the lift and drag. So this call F prime. And the circle has radius R that we've drawn around it. And then this is the definition of positive theta. We'll come back to this circle and why I've drawn it in a little in a, in a few moments. We can define the wake defect volume flow rate per unit span by integrating across the wake. So this is V dot prime wake 
which is defined to be the integral of negative delta u wake dz. Why dz? Well, because we've said that it's only in the x direction, this velocity uh, in the wake, and so uh, integrating across z, which is perpendicular to x, gives us all of the contribution to the flow rate. Now what we're going to do is apply mass and momentum conservation on a control volume in the far field. This circle represents the control volume, where the radius r is much larger than the chord. So that the airflow, this is exaggerated here as being quite small, but the airflow will say like a little tiny speck right in the middle. Um, that would be a more realistic estimate uh, sketch of how uh, we actually see this circle being sized compared to the size of the airflow. So then if we use polar coordinates um, to make things a little bit easier, dl is r d theta, where dl is the, a small segment of the length of this control volume surface, and the normal direction to the control volume surface is just the radial direction. Then the far field potential velocity on the surface of the control volume is only a function of theta, since r is everywhere constant on it, and this is v infinity, v infinity cos theta in the r direction minus sine theta in the theta direction plus the contribution from the source, which is in the radial direction, and the circulation, which is in the theta direction. Now, mass conservation says that if we integrate all around this control volume, rho v dotted with the normal dl must equal zero. Since our total velocity is not uh, vff, but vffw, what we get is vffw for the dot product dot n will be v, since n is going to pick out the radial component, v infinity cos theta plus lambda over 2 pi r plus delta u wake. And now if we perform the integration, this is just rho r, we can bring those outside the integral because they don't vary. Integral from 0 to 2 pi brings us all the way around. V theta cos theta plus lambda over 2 pi r times V theta. Plus, we're going to integrate the delta u wake component, not in polar coordinates, but in Cartesian, because in the region where delta u is not 0, it's essentially only in the z direction. So this is going to be rho times the integral of delta u wake dz. Now, if we look at this, v infinity is a constant, so that could come out of this part of the integration. And the integral of cos theta d theta around a closed contour from 0 to 2 pi is 0. And you can see that by thinking about the cosine function. And if you integrate all that, there's positive and negative areas that in net equals 0. So we're left only with this term. Theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi, so a 2 pi is going to come out here, and we've already got this r. So we're going to get rho 2 pi r lambda over 2 pi r. And so this term just gives us rho lambda. Because we know that the overall integral must be 0, we can write the left-hand side as 0. So we have 0 equals rho lambda, and then this contribution from the wake, but this integral we just defined 
to be the wake volume flow rate per unit span. So this is minus rho e dot prime wake. So this says that v dot prime wake is equal to the source strength. So what this means is that there's a net inward volume flow from the wake defect, and this is exactly equal to the source strength. Now this makes sense if you think about it, because how else could mass be conserved? Also, if there was no wake, because we had, were not modeling viscous effects, then we would get uh, lambda equals zero, and have the familiar thin airfoil theory velocity potential result. 